today we're making rasta pasta and salmon. And for my salmon, I seasoned it with some jerk seasoning. Ooh, there we go. And some Old Bay. And some paprika. That's all I did for the jerk seasoning. So what we're gonna do is we turn the pot on. Let the pot pot. And you put a little bit of butter in here and allow it to melt. A little bit of grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil. Okay, so now I'm just showing you guys a little cleaning tip. When you clean your cutting board, rub a, um, a slice of lime or lemon on the cutting board for freshness and to get rid of the germs and bacteria. That it helps for that too. So, okay, so now I'm just setting up the water to boil. Up, oh, turn on wrong burner. See that? I'm about to boil the water for the pasta. Put some grapeseed oil in the pot and some pink Himalayan pink salt. Yep. And now I'm just turning the salmon over since they've been, you see how pretty that looks? looks so good. Look at it. Oh, my bad. Cover. Oh, so I covered the pot because the salmon was so thick and even though I flipped it over, it still wasn't cooked on the underside. So I cover it so that the salmon can cook all the way through. So yeah, that's what you're seeing me do right there. And I'm just zooming in on that great caramelized greatness right there. Just nice and golden. And, and I'm just taking it out. Yep, taking it out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying not to be. Anyway, and I almost dropped a piece of the salmon. Yeah, a piece of my salmon broke. See, this is as real as it gets. It's not always perfect, okay? And this is what I'm showing y'all. Wow, these clips are going fast, girl. Oh, what I did was I took the pot and I wiped out the salmon things that fell off the salmon, whatever. So now I'm just adding the pasta to the boiling water because it has now started boiling. And I'm just stirring it up and I set the timer on my stove for nine minutes because I wanted to cook the pasta al dente and not overcook it. So I set the timer there to remind me. So now I'm just adding a little grapeseed oil to the pot because I'm gonna start making the um, sauce. Some grapeseed oil, some minced garlic, some thyme. I add the whole thyme in there, stems and everything, not just the leaves because uh, flavor. <laughs> you best believe it. You love flavor. Um, what else? Oh yeah, stir it up a little bit, stir it up, stir it, stir it up. <laughs> and then I just add a little bit of butter. Again, the butter adds a little bit of flavor. That's not salted butter, so just so y'all know. And just stir it up a little bit. And then I add the scotch bonnet pepper, cause that's the spice. Remember, we're making rasta pasta, so it's spicy. Then I add the sweet peppers, the colored peppers, whatever y'all wanna call it, capsicum, whatever. I realized that there wasn't enough pepper, so I just cut up some more and put it in a pot. I like it to be colorful and for the colors to be seen. So I just add it to the pot and I shake it around a little bit like a little iron chef, you know. I feel like I'm a little Asian, uh, uh, working in an Asian restaurant, flipping it. Okay. So, <laughs> I sped that up. It looks so funny. All right, so now I'm seasoning the um, peppers. I'm adding the jerk, the powdered jerk seasoning to it. I'm adding some black pepper to it. Because you want it to be spicy. Don't forget this is rasta pasta. I'm going to keep saying it. Add a little bit more jerk. Add a little bit of salt. I, I don't even know what I was doing with that salt. Because it must have been three beads of salt that fell on them damn peppers. I promise you. Okay, add a little parsley. Not a lot. You know what? I hesitated with the parsley because I was like, uh-uh, the parsley really is just for the aesthetics of it when I'm plating it. So I just stopped with the parsley. But then I went ahead and I added some scallions. That's green onions or scallions if you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. I added that to the pot. Look how beautiful. Oh, the color. All right. Wash the tops of your cans off. Please wash off the top of your cans. The top of your cans are dirty. So before opening your cans, you have to wash the tops off. Clean it. 
okay? So that's a can of coconut milk that I'm opening. And I'm not using a can opener. By the way, I do have a can opener, okay? I'm not ratchet like that. I have a can opener, but because I'm gonna pour it out, I didn't need to open the whole top of the can. So I'm gonna just bust it like a Jamaican, you know, just bust the two side them. One all for pour, one all for vent, and then that's it. I need for open the whole top. Here I'm just mixing the seasonings that I just put on the peppers to make sure that it's all incorporated. I'm testing it with the knife to make sure that it's not too soft because I do not want my peppers to be too soft and they will continue cooking as I pour the milk on. So I wanna make sure that it still has a little bit of crisp to it before I pour the milk. I'm showing you guys that I'm also using evaporated milk. All right, so I started pouring um, coconut milk on there. I used all of the coconut milk, all of it. And then I just mixed. Mix until everything was good. And um, I didn't add the evaporated milk yet, and I'm just showing you the four cheese mix that I used, which was um, a Parmesan, Romano, Asiaga, and Fontina mix, and then I uh, had some shredded Parmesan, Romano. And then this is the kicker right here. This smoked Gouda, I'm telling you, makes m so much difference when you're making like cheesy pasta dishes or cheesy dishes regardless. That smoked Gouda takes it to another level. So now I'm adding the evaporated milk after I let the coconut milk cook for about two minutes and I stir it and added the, ooh, look at that reverse motion, yes. Editing, yes. <laughs> and I'm adding the cheeses now. This is the four cheese blend, the Parmesan, Romano, Asiaga, and Fontina. I'm just adding it in there. It looks so delicious already. Stirring it all up, making sure that the cheese does not clump so as you add the cheese, stir it, because you don't want the cheese to clump all in one spot. That's not cool. And then that's hard to break up. So just stir your life away until your arms get tired, because that's what it looks like I'm doing right now. And now I'm, yep, grating that good Gouda on there to make sure that I got that kick in my pasta. You know. Okay, I'm back to being normal. <laughs> Making sure I get every bit of that Gouda. I actually could have added a little bit more Gouda. I don't know why I didn't. So I'm just mixing it up and now I'm tasting it. Taste as you go to make sure that, you know, it, need, it has all the flavors that it needs. So after tasting it, I decided that it needed more spices. So I added more jerk seasoning, some crushed red pepper, um, I'll also add some black pepper that you'll see in a moment and I added some of this liquid jerk I don't know if this is liquid whatever texture this is some of that jerk seasoning that usually you put on the chicken I added some of that mild jer or hot jerk. It's not mild. It was hot So then I also went ahead and I added more black pepper I'm trying to get it, you know spicy to my liking um, And then I stirred it up. So you're just stirring and tasting and adding what it needs then now I go ahead and I add the pasta little by little because the pasta absorbs the liquid so you don't want to add it all at once and then it'll you know dry out so just add it little by little and stir as you add oh look how beautiful that looks yes I'm adding a little bit more pasta and then I also added some evaporated milk and more Parmesan I felt that it was a little bit dry that's why I added the evaporated milk and just the Parmesan for more flavor just add your to your discretion and that's really all it is So I'm done cooking. I'm gonna have my taste tester. Wait, Nisha. You're not the taste tester. I <laughs> did. My taste tester, the pregnant lady, is gonna let you guys know how well I did. Doom, 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 doom. Wait a minute, it's not focusing. Okay, there we go. <gasps> now tell the truth now. If it's bad, let me know. Mm. The pasta is good. The sauce is good. Duh. <laughs> the salmon is not that spicy because remember, Alana gotta eat. Mm -hmm. It's good. 
It's good. I like it. <laughs> and she pregnant. And let me tell you, for real, for real, mm -hmm. her baby is the pickiest baby ever because for the whole five months of her pregnancy, mm -hmm. she's been throwing up everything, even water. <laughs> okay? So if she's eating my food and Papa, how? Oh, Papa, that's yummy. That's yummy, Nate. <laughs> yes! Look, that baby don't never smile. He never smiles. Come on. Mm. Yummy. Go, mama. It's so yummy. Good. Hey, hey. Boy, so you so come out and taste and take me cooking. <laughs> what you <I> say? <laughs> Papa say, want some more, my grandma, licking finger. <laughs> Papa, get some more. That Papa, get some yeah, more. <laughs> Papa. Papa. Mm. Let me get it. Yeah, yeah. All right, Papa. Let me get my bed now. <laughs> I'll be back, so I'm gonna come, come back and get it. Look, it's good. secret. Is it good? Mm -hmm. It's so good. The I the salmon is not spicy, no, but the pasta is spicy. I didn't want to make both of them spicy and hurt y'all little mouths oh, up. No, this is good. You like it? It's for real, for real. Like you're not saying that because I'm recording it. it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't eat nasty stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you see? <laughs>